Black Slimming, I think. Yeah, it's very good. All right, whenever you're ready. All right, well, Dave, Chef Dave, welcome back to uh, Glen Roy Spirit Shop. Thanks for coming over. This will be seen on lifeishardtv.com. For folks that just don't have enough time, they just go online, they go lifeishardtv.com, bam, everything's there. Got everything from travel to wine to some beer sometimes. Chef Dave kicks it up with some turkey tacos last week. You got it all, folks. Today we're going to go over to the Glen Rose Spirit Shop and visit with, uh, with South Africa. The World Cup's coming, figuring this is an appropriate section, an appropriate theme to talk about, an appropriate wine. Now, Dave, I got just one question for you. Yes. 3000 BC. What, what year are we in now? 2010? So we're talking, yeah, that was a couple years ago. That's like 5,000 years ago, give or take a couple. 5,010. Right? Yeah, 5,010 oh. years ago. Wow. That's, That's a vintage. Yeah, this one. This one's uh, got a little dust on it. That's the name of the winery, 3000 BC. They have evidence that roots and vines and everything go back to 3000 BC. So we're just going to talk about a couple of whites and a couple of reds from there. The first one is Chenin Blanc from this company, from the vineyard. Chenin Blanc, if you were to take this over to France, which they probably did, uh, they landed in a town called, a section called Vouvray. So for you French, Frenchophiles, it's Vouvray. For everybody down in South Africa and the rest of the world, it's Chenin Blanc. It's a beautiful white, not too dry like a Pinot Grigio, not too oaky and buttery like a Chard, easy drinking, hint of sweetness. I know we just did uh, one of those Easter episodes, but this isn't as sweet as your Rieslings, that Peace Porter, the big blue bottle. So, anyway, we're going to go over to one more, another grape that does very well down there, Sauvignon Blanc, South African, 2009. Now, Dave, did you know that they're six months ahead of us down south? How do you mean? They're already picking. It's summer down there, and summer's done. So they're yeah, picking their grapes right. right now. And this one's where again? This is South Africa. Wow. Okay. The vineyard Steenberg, predominant area down there. So uh, we're, we're, we're pretty far south. On a good day, you could see polar bears from the tip of South Africa. All right. You know, that, so that's, that's great news. It's sunny and 70 here, though, so I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. All About right. time. So we did two whites. We did a Chenin Blanc and a, a beautiful uh, Savion Blanc from down there. Now we're going to come up and do probably my favorite grape down south. Dersmerdal is the vineyard, okay? Established in, oh, I'm having trouble, Dave, seeing it today. 1698. I don't, we were still British back then, yeah. weren't we? All right, like we so were. 07 Vintage Pinotage. Now you're going to say Pinotage, Larry. What the heck is Pinotage? What the heck is Pinotage? That's a cross. They genetically took two grapes. They took the Pinot Noir grape, which... I think we just talked about in, yep. the, uh, in the Easter episode. And they took Cinso, another crazy grape that they find in France. They find all these crazy grapes in France. Um, those crazy French. Those crazy Frenchmen. Roy? Yeah. So, just kidding. So anyway, <laughs> uh, they, they crossed those two grapes and came up with Pinotage. What do you mean? No, no, I was just, uh, we were just having fun. Just joking around. That's okay. All right. So Pinotage, awesome grape. Uh, all South African reds have this sort of grunge to them. You know, when you when you barbecue, what do you feel like when you're done barbecuing on a, on a Grun hot day? Grungy. Grungy. So, good barbecue wine, you're talking right here. Uh, nice pinotage. It's got a lot of earthiness to it. You can really taste the soil in this baby. Unless you're cooking up Chef Dave's pounded marinated chicken breast. No, and, and then you want something ni nice and light like that salad. want to go oh. light, yeah. Perfect. So we're going to do a doing like a piccata. We're going to do a strip steak with that red right we're gonna there. We're going to do a strip steak. We're going to do some ribs maybe. All sorts of great stuff. And then as you can tell, I'm just I'm just jumping around here. Uh, it's basically all South Africa. This is all South Africa. How many Africa. selections from South Africa? Now, you could be looking for Sambuca, right? Right over here. And that's the great thing about Glenroe. You never know where you're going to find it. You're going to be looking for Sambuca and all of a sudden, oh my god, here comes South Africa right at you. Things are flying at me. How was Pinotage created? I've just got a question from the uh, art gallery. How was, Roy, how was Pinotage created? You don't know? I know it's a blend of Pinot Noir and cross. cross between Pinot Noir and Cinso. 
He should have been a doctor, folks. I can't even. Can you read that? Sure. You did somehow. Uh, somehow. All right. Grafted. Grafted. Roy, Roy, how was Pinot, Pinotage? I grafted the Cinso plant on a Pinotage plant. Pinot Noir. Created, there you a go. Pinot Noir plant. Created Pinotage. Nice. 200 years ago. Thanks right. for that insight. Excellent. Yeah, now you're all smart. One of many pearls here at Glen Row. So we're going to go over to another vineyard. We're going to cross over a little South Africa. This one I've seen. I'm familiar with the name. Yep. Excelsior. Yep. Uh, Cabernet, 05. Again. So this is really like an 04 and a half, Dave, because they're six months ahead of us. Notice, cool. what's that crazy thing on the top there? Screw top. Screw top. I use this all the time. I get a lot of dirty looks. Dave, did you come here on horse and buggy or a car? I came on a screw top. Screw top. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think that was Dave last night, folks. Just yeah. Chef Dave. Uh, computer, cell phone, cars, all technology. Screw cap, wave of the future. Do you know how many people... Every Sunday when we're closed, and don't let us open on Sundays, please, I work enough, are going to pull the cork right out, and it's going to smell like dirty socks. It's because of the cork. So we'll get that in another section someday. But screw cap, wave of the future, Cabernet Sauvignon, beautiful grape. So uh, let's say you got a big ribeye going, or you got some, uh, you know, you're going to do a nice little prime rib. Here's your Cabernet for it. Nice, cool. earthy, meaty. You know, let's say you're doing like a tomato uh, roumelade, some, you know, really dark, earthy sauce. This is your, this is your answer right there. Well, that's it, folks. Thanks for coming over today, Chef Dave. Great uh, to be here. South American section. South America. Again, you'd miss it. South Africa. If you, if you South Africa. Yeah. If you Sorry, drive by it, you're, you're going to miss it. So uh, come on down to Glen Row, and we'll see you soon. Remember, lifeishardtv.com or their sister channel online. GolfIsHardTV.com, Golf Pro, Chef Dave at the helm right now. We'll see you soon, folks. Thank you.